Good morning. Good morning talaga because it's already 12.56 a.m. Habang nire-record ko to, or ginagawa ko itong aking tutorial na to. So, to prepare for my online teaching and also din yung sa observation na gagawin uh, sa amin in our school, kailangan ko mag-explore ng different uh, apps or learning platforms that would help me make my discussion more interactive nga. So, una, tinry natin yung Mentimeter na madali lang naman matutunan how we're going to sign up for free and how we're going to come up with questions, paano ba organize yung answers sa mga students mo o yung mga responses nila for uh, this day. Try naman natin yung Kahoot. So, let's open a new tab. Let's go to kahoot.com Okay, so dito tayo yung tapang school. And then, tinuturo niya ako to scroll down. Scroll down na tayo. So, meron uh, yung Kahoot. Pwede yan to introduce new topics, review contents, or to reach students na lang who are not at school, teach an interactive lesson, yung pinakasikat na uh, feature ng Kahoot. Reinforce knowledge. Break the eyes and the reward pwede natin ito gamitin to motivate our students to learn more about the lesson or to sustain their interest in learning more about the topic. Pwede din dyan yung formative assessment to collect student opinions. Uh, merong survey para sa Google Forms. Focus on accuracy. Wow! Turn learners into le leaders. Gusto ko din yan. Pwede sila yung mag-host ng isang uh, game. Pwede yun. Foster creativity and teamwork. Kasi pwede tayong gumawa ng isang uh, interactive game na maglaban yung mga teams. You can uh, arrange student into a team tapos uh, pwede silang to engage into a contest. Yung sa quiz nga. Pwede din dito yung uh, teach colleagues and in different sessions, pwede natin gamitin sa webinars. O oh, marami dito nga nilalagay, more success stories. Yan, marami tayong pwedeng i-explore sa Kahoot. So, let's sign up for free. Tignan natin. Kung gusto nyo pang ma-enjoy yung iba't ibang features ng Kahoot, meron sila dyan na uh, $3 for teachers to ha. $3 in a month. So, kukunin nila yan. Singilin nila kayo annually. So, dito na lang tayo sa of course, continue for free. Ngayon ko pa lang talaga tinatry itong Kahoot. Kanina, nag-sign uh, up ako dito. I can upgrade my plan. Nilagay ko yung school, Rafael Elisati Memorial High School. So, create na tayo ng assessment. Paano mag-create? So, new. Kahoot. Pwede ka dyan yung gumawa ng uh, yung presentation. Pwede din dito. Uh, create and teach interactive lessons. May iba't ibang template na available. Dito tayo sa paggawa ng assessment. So, who is... The father of English literature and author of Canterbury Tales. Yan, ang dami ko ng clue. Dapat alam na ng mga student yan. Pwede tayong mag-add ng image. Madali lang mag ng image. So, just for example, kahit na hindi konektado yung image na to sa aking uh, question. Let's try getting this image. O, dito muna tayo. Drag ko lang tong image. 
Yan, konektado pa rin naman sa literature. Tingnan nyo. It's a surprise kung anong klaseng image ba yan. Dapat mabilis talaga yung connection natin when using a learning platforms like this. Kahoot is actually a game-based learning platform. Yan, hintay pa rin natin mag-upload yung image. Medyo malaki ata yung uh, size ng image. Kaya hindi siya ganun kabilis ma-upload. Pero I tried it uh, an hour ago to upload an image. Mabilis naman siyang ma-upload. Siguro depending lang sa size ng ating image. And habang ina-upload yan, pwede naman na tayong mag-type uh, ng options. Ito, si Washington Irving. That's not the correct answer. Kaso hindi ko i-click yung correct answer. Lagay natin si Mark Twain. Hindi pa rin yung, yan yung correct answer. And how about... Uh, William Shakespeare. Sige, lagay natin. Hindi pa rin. And the answer is... Yan, sinasabi ko na agad yung answer. <laughs> okay, so kailangan i-click tong uh, part na to para uh, to emphasize that this is the correct answer para din kapag may sumagot na students uh, or sumagot ng tama, makikita niya sa uh, scoreboard na siya yung nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay. Now, I'm done with the first, something went wrong with the image, hindi siya upload completely. Pero gawin nyo yung ginawa ko kanina, i-drag nyo lang yung image dyan sa box na yan. And then, meron na tayong image. Yung kahoot title, lagay lang natin, English Assessment. And description, join this activity for... Mga reminders sa students, pwede natin ilagay dito, 20 bonus points. Okay, continue. Save anyway. Kahit na wala yung image, okay lang yan. Next time, we'll prepare yung image na hindi ganun kalaki yung size. Tapos, ah, uh, Huwag natin uh, share muna with others. Click natin yung play now. Halimbawa, ikaw yung uh, start a single player game with virtual players. Practice nga daw. Practice. Lakayan natin konti. Okay. Kailangan, if you want to join the game, Meron ka na code na ibibigay ni teacher at meron ka din na uh, nickname. So, because I'm trying out the game I created. Hindi ako na required to give a code. Okay, go. So, ink. Mag-a-appear muna yung title na nilagay natin. In 3, 2, 1. This is the question. Ayan, di ba? Ang ganda ng kulay. Yung mga students, may excited talaga silang sumagot. Ayan na. Ang tamang sagot ay Jeffrey Chaucer. So, I have 886 points. Next. Makikita din kung, uh, kung sino yung pinakamabilis sumagot. Ayan. Sino yung number one. O, oh, diba? Tuwan-tuwa na yung mga students natin yan. Diba? Nauuna silang sumagot. At syempre, kung tama yung kanilang sagot. It's a little bit the same with ano eh, uh, uh, quizzes. If, if I pronounce it correctly. But we'll try to explore that learning, uh, interactive learning uh, app na yan next time. So, ito pa lang yung pangalawang tinry natin. That we can integrate in our demonstration teaching. Okay, so bye for now. Thank you sa pagsama sa akin sa pag-create ng or pag-try nitong Kahoot. Try nyo na rito para naman mas maging interactive yung inyong 
online teaching.